The truth about falling EV sales. What EV makers don't want you to know. Electric vehicles were supposed to be the future of driving, promising eco-friendly efficiency and cutting-edge technology. But the reality, well, EV sales are stalling. And the truth behind the hype is something the automakers don't want you to know. From early adopters losing interest to overpriced, depreciating investments and hidden running costs, it's clear that EVs just aren't delivering on what buyers actually want. In this video, we will expose the myths and shed light on why the electric dream is fast losing its spark. You know, the whole EV hype has been like a roller coaster ride, hasn't it? At, at first, it felt like EVs were going to be the next big thing, revolutionizing the way we drive and saving the planet all at once. But guess what? That thrill's gone, and one big reason for that is the early adopters have ended. Think about it. When EVs first hit the market, they were like shiny new toys. Tech enthusiasts and eco-warriors jumped on the bandwagon, eager to be the first to own these futuristic vehicles. These adopters were the perfect customers, willing to overlook the flaws, pay a premium price, and put up with limited charging infrastructure just to be part of the green revolution. But here's the kicker. That group is finite. There are only so many people who are willing to spend big on a car that, well, let's face it, still has a lot of issues. Once the initial wave of tech-savvy, eco-conscious consumers bought their EVs, the sales started to sputter. The mainstream car buyers, they're not so easily convinced. Mainstream buyers look at EVs and see a whole lot of hassle. They see a limited range, long charging times, and a lack of charging stations. Plus, the higher upfront costs are a major turnoff. They do the math and realize that these so-called savings on fuel and maintenance don't always add up when you factor in the higher purchase price and the cost of installing a home charging station. And let's not forget about the battery life. Early adopters might have been willing to take a chance on a battery that degrades over time, but mainstream buyers, not so much. They want a car that's reliable and can go the distance, not one that needs a new battery every few years at a cost that's almost as much as buying a new car. So EV makers can spin their PR all they want. But the truth is, they've tapped out of their most eager market. The rest of the potential buyers are just not sold on the idea. And it's showing in the sales figures. The novelty has worn off, and what's left is a product that simply doesn't meet the needs or expectations of the average consumer. EVs are far from what car buyers want. Here's the deal. EVs just aren't what car buyers want. Auto manufacturers and their marketing teams have done an impressive job of painting this idyllic picture of electric cars as the future of transportation, but let's face it, most buyers aren't convinced. First off, range anxiety is real. People don't want to worry about whether they'll make it to their destination or, you know, job without their car dying on them. With gas cars, you can drive for hundreds of miles and refuel fuel in a matter of minutes at one of the countless gas stations quite literally everywhere. With an EV, you're constantly calculating whether you have enough juice to get to where you need to go, and if you do run low, you better hope there's a charging station nearby and that it's not already occupied. Charging an EV isn't quick either. Even with the fastest chargers, you're still looking at a significant wait. Then there's the issue of choice and versatility. Traditional cars come in all shapes and sizes. Sedans, SUVs, trucks, convertibles, you name it. They're designed to meet a variety of needs. Whether you're hauling kids to soccer practice, taking a road trip, or just commuting to work, the EV market is still catching up. Sure, there are a few models out there, but the options are limited compared to the vast selection of gasoline-powered vehicles. Plus, for those who need a workhorse vehicle like a truck, EV options are minimal and often lack the power and range needed for heavy-duty tasks. Let's not ignore the infrastructure problem. Our world is built around gasoline vehicles. Most homes don't have the setup for convenient overnight charging, especially in urban areas where people rely on street parking. Public charging stations are still relatively scarce and often unreliable. Until there's a massive and expensive overhaul of our infrastructure, this will remain a significant hurdle. Another thing is cost. Sure, EV makers like to tote the lower running costs and government incentives, but the reality is the upfront cost is still pretty steep. Most people don't have $30,000 to $60,000 just lying around to spend on a new car, especially when there are plenty of reliable, fuel-efficient gas cars for much less. And those government incentives? They're not guaranteed to last forever. Once those dry up, EVs will become even less appealing from a financial standpoint. Price depreciation. Speaking about finances, let's talk about one of the biggest elephants in the room. 
price depreciation. This is a massive issue that EV makers really don't want to spotlight, but guess what? We're gonna shine a big old bright light on it. When you buy a car, you're making a significant investment, and you hope that that investment retains as much value as possible over time. Unfortunately, with EVs, depreciation is a serious problem. The moment you drive an EV off the lot, its value drops like a rock, and it keeps plummeting faster than traditional gas-powered cars. Why? because the market for used EVs is shaky at best. One major factor contributing to this is the battery. EV batteries degrade over time, which directly impacts the car's range and performance. Potential buyers know this, and they're wary of buying a used EV that might need an expensive battery replacement sooner rather than later. Let's be honest, nobody wants to buy a car that could turn into a money pit. Then there's the rapid pace of technological advancement in the EV sector. While advancements are generally good, they make older models obsolete much faster. Every year, new EVs come out with better range, quicker charging times, and more features. So why would someone pay good money for an older model when they can get a new one that's significantly better? This constant tech leapfrogging devalues older EVs at an alarming rate. We also can't ignore the impact of government incentives. A lot of the appeal of buying a new EV comes from those hefty tax credits and incentives, but these perks don't apply to used EVs, making them less attractive in the second-hand market. Without these financial incentives, buying a used EV becomes a much harder sell. Maintenance and repair costs also play a pretty large role. While EVs are often toted as having lower maintenance needs overall, when something does go wrong, repairs can be very costly, both in money and time. Specialized parts and fewer qualified technicians mean higher bills. Potential buyers of used EVs know this and are often reluctant to take on that risk. The leasing model prevalent with EVs adds another layer to the depreciation issue. Many people prefer to lease EVs rather than buy them outright because they're wary of long-term ownership issues. This means a lot of leased EVs end up back on the market after just a few years, flooding the market with used EVs and driving down their resale value even further. So while EV makers like to talk about the environmental benefits and the futuristic tech, they stay pretty quiet about how fast these cars tend to lose value. For the average buyer, this rapid depreciation is a major downside. They see their hard-earned money evaporate with each passing year, making EVs a far less attractive investment. Hidden running cost. On the surface, EVs might seem cheaper to run. No gas fill-ups, fewer moving parts, and supposedly less maintenance. But there's a lot more to the story that EV makers would rather you didn't think too hard about. First off, the electricity itself isn't free. Yeah, it's cheaper than gasoline per mile, but as more people switch to EVs, there's an increasing strain on the power grid. In some areas, this means higher electricity rates, especially during peak hours. Imagine plugging in your EV at home after work, only to find your electricity bill skyrocketing because you're charging during peak demand times. Then there's the issue of battery replacement. EV batteries degrade over time, and eventually they need to be replaced, and that is not cheap. A new battery can cost thousands of dollars, which can negate years of savings on fuel and maintenance. Plus, the longer you own the car, the more likely it is that you'll have to deal with this expensive problem. It's not something EV manufacturers like to shout about, but it's a reality that every EV owner will eventually face. Speaking of maintenance, while it's true that EVs have fewer moving parts and don't require oil changes, they're not entirely maintenance-free. Tires wear out faster on EVs due to extra weight of the batteries, brake maintenance can also be more frequent in areas with less regenerative braking usage. And let's talk about software updates. These can sometimes be more of a headache than a help, requiring trips to the dealer or dealing with glitches that traditional cars simply don't have. Another hidden cost is insurance. On average, EVs can be more expensive to insure than their gasoline counterparts. This is due to the higher repair costs, specialized parts, and fewer repair shops equipped to handle EV-specific issues. Over time, these higher insurance premiums can really add up, further eroding the supposed savings. So while EV makers love to brag about the low running costs, the reality is a bit more complex. When you factor in the high initial costs, potential battery replacements, increased insurance premiums, and fluctuating electricity prices, these savings might not be as substantial as they first appear. 
It's a classic case of not everything being as it seems, and buyers deserve to know the full picture before making the switch to electric. So there you have it. While EV makers paint a rosy picture, the reality is far less appealing. The initial thrill has faded, and most buyers aren't convinced by the limited range, high costs, rapid depreciation, and hidden expenses. EVs might be the talk of the town, but when it comes down to what people really want and need, they just don't deliver. The truth is, EVs are more about hype than substance, and that's something the industry does not want you to know. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.